Hey real estate hustlers, how are we doing today? Happy Monday. I just wanted to share with you guys real quick about a phone call that I had this morning. Uh, I figured it'd be valuable for everybody, so I wanted to share it. So I got a phone call this morning. Somebody called and said, hey, we've got this home, beautiful home, it's great, we just got a job transfer, so we have to move. And uh, we're thinking of going for sale by owner, but I just wanted to ask you a few questions. And I said, okay, before we go any further, Let's stop. Let's talk about this for a minute. Why did you want to go for sell by owner? What, what were your thoughts behind that? Um, so I sat and listened to them and uh, heard you know, their concerns about the whole 6% commission, um, about saving money, where they're moving to a place that has a, a higher cost of living. So they, um, you know, so they needed to get the most they could out of their house. Now after I listened, right away I just stopped the conversation. I said, okay, let's talk about that guys. You know, Zillow makes it really easy, Trulia makes it really easy, Craigslist, whatever, all these different websites make it extremely easy to go on, post your photos, and uh, put your house up for sale. But how much do you guys actually know about the real estate process? Do you guys know what to do when an offer comes in? Do you know how to process it? Do you know how to, you know, do you know about the costs? What costs you guys are responsible to pay? What costs the buyer should be paying? Um, how to get with the title company, what inspections to line up, just some more searching questions, and they quickly realized, oh, no, <laughs> we, we're really not sure how to do that. And so I talked about, you know, guys, there's, there's kind of this thing going around where people just post their homes online because it looks easy, and then they assume they'll just take it to a title company, and the title company will take care of everything for them when that's actually not the case. Title companies, by law, are supposed to just furnish title insurance. They can't fill out paperwork, they can't negotiate for you. Uh, so I went over those things with them, let them know that, you know, di dealing directly just party to party from seller to buyer, they're going to lose a lot of their negotiation power. So in the end, they're actually probably going to get more money by using a realtor just for that negotiation power, properly pricing the home um, than they would just going for sell by owner. So I listened to them first. I then informed them about everything that uh, that goes on in the real estate process. I educated them on the for sale by owner, um, on the, the whole for sale by owner idea, and quickly got that out of their minds. The next important thing to do after that is to prove your value. Prove why you are worth that 6% commission or whatever you guys charge on your commissions. Prove it to them. Let them walk away from that phone call knowing that, wow, okay, these guys are worth the money. So I went through the list of everything that we do when we list a home and why our listings get more attention than our competitors, how we sell our listings at half the time than our competitors, and went through this whole list proving our value. Then I set the appointment so we could go get that listing. So within the course of about five minutes, I was able to take this person who wanted to go sell their home for sale by owner, quickly convert them into a sale, and uh, anyway, so this is just a concept I just want to quickly go over with you guys. It's super quick, usually pretty easy to convert these uh, for sale by owners when you just listen, first of all. And in fact, I made an acronym. It just happened to turn into an acronym, LIPS, L-I-P-S. So first you just listen to them, listen to their concerns, listen to why they're wanting to go for sale by owner, then inform. Make sure to listen first though. Don't just go start informing them. Listen first then inform them, express your understanding, let them know, guys, I understand why you want to do this. I understand why the for sale by owner route looks so attractive. But then start asking them those direct questions. Do you guys know the process? Do you know what to do when an offer comes in? Do you know how to negotiate closing costs? Okay, express your concern. This is one thing I did for these guys is, you know, we care about you guys. We don't want to see you guys get hosed in a real estate transaction. It happens a lot when people don't know what they're doing. You know, a lot of times you'll probably leave a lot more money on the table than if you would have just used a realtor. Um, and then, yeah, talk about all the protection that real estate agents give them. They leave themselves very open-ended, um, very vulnerable when they're doing it on their own. That I proved our value and set that appointment. So, guys, in those four easy steps, using that acronym, listen, inform, um, prove your value and then set the appointment. You guys are going to be able to convert a ton of for sale by owners. So get out there this week, work hard on that. We'll talk to you guys soon.